Hello world, what's going on? Happy New Year! Yes, 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 yes. We are live in the cave. It's 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 it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day because it is a new year, and Lord knows we've been waiting for this new year because last year has been crazy for for lack of better words. There's been a lot of things. So, you know, I'm here in the man cave. I'm your host, Cal Williams, as always, and. You know, I'm, I'm bringing to you a, a, a new host, um, you know, to the, to the man cave uh, dynamic. I'm doing something new with the cave. I'm, I'm, in, I'm reintroducing um, a new segment and new show that once was on the man cave and bringing it back. And the name of that segment is His and Hers. So, it's you know, this is a man cave man cave tone deaf network presents His and Hers. And what better way to bring back that segment? Then with my queen, his and hers, you, you get it. <laughs> so let me introduce, you know, my queen, my queen, Miss Nelly, Nelly, Nelly B. How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing well. Doing well. Doing well. Doing well. I'm blessed. Yes. Yes. Really blessed. Really yes, blessed. Yes. Doing well. Looking well. Look. 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 Mighty. Uh. Spectacular. I might say. I mean, you know. <laughs> no, no. You know. You know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, done nails, done fancy, fancy. You know. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we do it here, you know, the Williams family, baby. So, you know, I mean, we're going to talk, we're going to recap on this year. We're going to talk about all the craziness going on and, you know, everything going on and moving forward for, uh, you know, 2021. And, of course, we're going to, you know, dive in and talk about a couple of, um, you know, things that went on with the COVID. And, you know, I feel that the COVID has affected a lot of people worldwide. Mm-hmm. But I also feel that it uh, also affected a lot of a lot of couples and a lot of marriages in a lot of different ways. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, it has. So I mean, what's 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 your take on that? On how do you feel that it may have affected a lot of you know different couples and marriages? Because we know how it affected the world. Yeah. Well, on my take from that, you know, far as how it has affected relationships during COVID, you know, using us as an example, right, you know, right. at one point, you know, don't know if everybody knows, but Cal- Calvin had COVID and yeah. how it affected us was, you know, like we had to separate ourselves, you yeah. know, he was in isolation and I had him upstairs and I was downstairs and, <laughs> you know, it was, it was, it was terrible, it was you know, it was, it was not being able to actually see him, but on FaceTime. <laughs> you know, having to pass some food to the door, you know, and and when you're used to sleeping with someone, yes. it, it's a little difficult when you got to separate yourself. That so that's true. one of the ways that it has affected us, you know. And then once he got better, another way it affected us, as far as you know, by your job being short staffed, you having to work long hours, yeah. and it seemed like we was passing by, yeah. you know, like you was going in, I was going out. Yeah. I was coming in, you was going out, you know? So that's one of the ways it really has affected us. Yeah. You know, during this year with COVID. Yeah, that's true. It did. It did because, um, yeah, I, I did, I did get COVID and, you know, God bless, you know, to the most high, you know, I beat COVID. I was, I'm healthy now, you know, um, and, you know, move forward from that. It definitely was a scary moment because at the same time, we know what this illness has done to a lot of people in the mm-hmm, world. I mean, mm-hmm. I myself lost loved ones due to due to COVID. Mm-hmm. So it was a real scary time for the family. But, you know, I'm a superhero at the end of the day, you know, so I, I'm, I'm immune to a lot of things that, you know, may affect a lot of humans. You know. <laughs> <laughs> What you call yourself? Iron Man. I'm Iron Man. I'm, I'm, I'm the black Iron Man. You know, that's, that's what I do, you know. But nah, on a serious note, it did really, you know, affect us in, in that way. And you're right, because when we're turning back to work, our family wasn't the only family affected by it. There was plenty of families. Mm-hmm. So now short staff, and it really did feel like I was only seeing you when I was saying goodbye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was only seeing when I come in from work, you sleep, your kids asleep, mm-hmm. you know, I'm getting something to eat, taking a quick shower, going to bed, and I see you in the morning, give you a kiss, goodbye, you know, mwah, and I'm out the door, yeah. and not seeing me again, so it really did play a, a, a major part in our household, I mean, you know, we strong, though, you know, we have a, a strong united front, so 
it's not something that we couldn't get through but there's a lot of relationships out there that wasn't so lucky probably couldn't you know make it through make the it rough through. time mm -hmm. of, of of covid so you know it, it's definitely been a lot i mean with with our living experience on us actually overcoming it and getting through getting through it what was some advice that you would have to other couples out there actually going through the struggle like still going through the struggle of covid because we in a new year but we far from over yeah yeah you know so what was some advice that you would be able to share on your end on how, what helped you to help us well you know what helped me was just knowing that <clears throat> I had to be there, you know, I have to be there. Somebody has to take care of you, you know? And and another thing that helped me get through this was, you know, faith. Yeah. Faith, you yeah. just gotta have faith. Yeah, gotcha. That was the main thing, it's just having faith and praying, mm -hmm. praying and just hoping for the best. Yeah, faith over fear. That's right, that's faith right. Faith over fear. I mean, that's all we really can do. And I mean, and I, I personally want to thank you live on air for being there for me, my love. Being there for me through my COVID time. <laughs> and, you know, helping the brother out to get back strong. You know, because honestly, that's what we all need. Us as kings out there, man, you know, we need peace and we look for that, you know, mm -hmm. from our queen. And I, I, I want I want to say live that, baby, I love you. I appreciate you for being there for me. You know, during that time and helping me get through that, helping me when I couldn't help myself, right. you know, and I couldn't be up front and be stand up on my own, too. When I couldn't stand, you helped me up, mm -hmm. you know, and you was there for me. I want to thank you for that. I really I appreciate that, my love. Yeah. You, you kiss me live on here. I kiss you, you live live on on oh, there. I get kisses. <laughs> I get kisses. You know, so I mean, it, it's really appreciated. It really is, and I mean, I would do the same. She know I would do the same. So we, you know, that's 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 really definitely needed out there. You gotta stand together, especially in times like this. You can't stand apart. You gotta stand firm, and you gotta stand together. You know, it's it's not a me thing. Mm -hmm. It's a us thing. Mm -hmm. A we. A we. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. You know, us and we. It, it, it's no just me or I, you know, to get through any trials and tribulations, you got to stand together. And the more you stand together, the stronger you make your foundation in your home. So, right. you know, this is just really what you got to do. And the thing about it is I ain't even, you know how, well, you know, in some households, you got to ask <laughs> your significant other to, to, to be there or to do something. I ain't even have to ask her. It was like second nature. It was like, oh, okay, this is the situation. All right. Okay, so this is what we gotta do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Boom. That's simple. That's simple. That's 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 just what it was. You know, so yeah, we definitely need that. We definitely need that in a lot of households and really need that to do that. So I mean that's that's our story as far as you know how we got through the the COVID and you know things in that situation. If you have any, if you would like to share any of your stories or any views or comments, definitely please. You know, don't um, you know, email us. Um, you know, join us. You, you're live on on the show. Send us a message. Let us know. We let's let's talk about it. We here to talk about it. We definitely here to talk about it. I mean, how do let me ask you? Um, how do you feel? Like we 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 just spoke about how it affected us. How do you feel the kids was affected? And I, the reason why I'm asking you because I was the sick one, mm -hmm. so I really didn't get a chance to really see mm -hmm. how the kids was affected. I made. You know, when they spoke to me on the phone or FaceTime, I may have really, you know, got a little glance of it. Mm -hmm. But you being the one on the forefront, mm -hmm. you being the one, you know, like you said, back and forth with me, getting my food, you, you know, making sure things is clean. You really got to see everything from the forefront. Like, how did it, how was the kids really affected? Well, I would say the kids was affected by, you know, they were scared. You know, they didn't know what to expect because right. of, you know, throughout this year, we've lost family members to COVID. So right. I know that was the first thing, like, you know, hoping for the best for their father, right. you know, and, and hoping that he pulled through for this, you right. know. And yeah. another way, you know, they was affected was not physically being able to see you. 
Right. You know, it's it's one thing to talk to somebody on a camera, mm -hmm. but it's another thing when you can actually lay eyes on that person. Right. You right. know, right. and then not only that, you know, they felt helpless. It was nothing right. they could do for you. Yeah. So, you know, that's how it was affected by the kids. And then not only that, not being able to go nowhere, do anything, everybody on isolation and can't go nowhere, you know, quarantining for the 14 days or whatever. It, it really was a tough time. It, it really was. It was it was tough for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. You're absolutely right. And I mean, the thing that hurt me was when I when I came home and I, you know, had to tell the family what was going on with me, mm -hmm. like looking in the kids eyes and actually like it was like they was like blank mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they just was like straight blank like it's different when you read about it and you see it on the news and you know you see how it's affecting the world but when it hits home it's 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 a whole different dynamic it is mm -hmm. and that was the one thing the the whole time i was quarantined and i was fighting it and i was going through it that stuck in my head. Mm -hmm. My kids, mm -hmm. you know, my wife, like what y'all was going through. And in my mind, that's that's actually what helped me push, push through, fight it, make sure I was good, do, you know, take the things I need to take to knock it out. It was like, nah, I I, I can't put them through anything more. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to. Like, I got, I got, I gotta do what I gotta do to get through to this. And you know, like I said, having that united front, it definitely helped. You know, I, I, I just, I, I kept that in my mind and I, I just kept it pushing. It was like, nah, this right here, I'm gonna beat this. I'm gonna get through this because looking at their faces and, and, and just seeing how they were so like, like blank. It's like, they didn't even, I believe, they didn't even know what emotion to feel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They just felt empty. Like you said, hopeless. Mm -hmm. And that's that's such a, a, a messed up way to feel. It is, especially it is. when it's a loved one, someone real close to you. You know, mm -hmm. and that that really helped me. I was like, nah, I'm getting through this. I'm not playing. Nah, I'm not playing around. I, I, you know, I was taking all my vitamins and my supplements and making sure you know I stay active, getting my rest, everything I needed to do to you know to beat this. And I beat it. You know, God bless. Thanks to the Most High. Yes, yes. And mm -hmm. you know, we here now. His and hers. We here now. That's right. That's right. We're here right. now. We're here now. You know, we're going to be discussing, you know, a lot of, a lot of, uh, you know, personal things as well as, you know, couples things. And, you know, like I said, we welcome the the communication with other couples. And even if you're, you're single and you got a special friend or something, definitely, you know, join in live, you know, give us your feedback. Let's talk about it. You can email us, so, you know, at the bottom of the screen, you should see the, the email, you know, where you can email us and, you know, we could chime in, we could talk about it. We could definitely talk about it. I mean, we here. <laughs> we here. We definitely here. But now we are in 2021. 2021. 2021. 2021. Oh, my God. 21. Wasn't 2020 a year? 2020 was a year. It was. It definitely, oh, definitely was. It was a year. Yeah, it definitely was a year. I mean, like, I... I, I don't miss it. <laughs> I don't miss it. I don't miss it. I mean, I am ready to move forward. Yeah. I mean, I'm definitely looking forward to 2021 and what, you know, God has in, in store for us. Right. You know, as far as moving forward, leaving everything in 2020 behind. Yes. Yes. Moving forward. You know, looking for greatness. Mm -hmm. Yes, know? yes. You know, and and just living life. Living life. Yeah. You're right living about life. that. Because it's going to be a great year. It's definitely going to be a great year. It is not no, like, I feel like <laughs> 2020 was so crazy and so messed up. Mm -hmm. It's like after the storm is the sunshine. Yeah. So I'm ready for that that sun to shine. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for it to shine. And, and 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 not for nothing, not for nothing. We went through a lot in 2020. Mm -hmm. We lost loved ones. Mm -hmm. You know, I myself with the COVID, but we also had a lot of blessings. We did we throughout did. the did. year as well. We did. We did. We moved into a new home. Mm -hmm. Got two new cars. All in the same year. All in the same year. Yep. Two brand new cars, might I add. 
brand new. The car match the year. If you understand what I'm saying, <laughs> car match the year that you in. You know that 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 type of move. And the car I wanted. And the car you wanted. That's right. <laughs> you see that? You see that? Mm -hmm. God is good, I tell you. He is. He's good, he man. Is. We had we had blessings. Our eld our oldest child graduated. Mm -hmm. Graduated high school. Mm -hmm. Started her, 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 you know, her job search, you know, finding her career and things of that nature. We started two new careers that we are in, <laughs> elevating in very quickly. That's right. That's right. You know, it, it was a lot of blessings. It also was a lot of blessings. And I just want to say that because when people talk about 2020, because it was so much craziness going on in the world, all we focus on is just all the negativity that happened throughout the year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I know that we wasn't the only blessed ones that had blessings throughout the year as well. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of blessings. There's a lot of blessings. So, you know, we got to like focus on, I feel like, and, and give me your opinion what you think. I feel that a lot of times people just focus on the negativity. Mm -hmm. They put the high beam on the negativity, mm -hmm. but they don't, they don't, they don't focus on, 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 on the blessings enough. Everything's always so negative. Yeah. And you know, the thing that gets me is as long as you're doing bad, mm. you got all the support. Mm. You ain't never lie. But when you're doing good, you don't hear from nobody. You don't hear nothing. 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 Like, nobody either, you know, shoot you a message on Facebook mm. and be like, you know, yeah. I see y'all. And I'm all. happy. Yes. You know? Speak it. But then when you're doing bad, mm -hmm. everybody and their mama in your business got something to say. Got something to say. Never nothing positive. Always something negative. At all. That's right. Always something negative. I mean, that's just, that gets me. I don't understand that. Yeah, I, I don't either. But you know what they say. Opinions is like assholes. Everybody got one. <laughs> that's what you <laughs> say that again. That's a, that, that, that's a true statement there. As you As y'all see, you know, we're 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 opposites. You know, we uh, she balances me. You know, I'm 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 the I'm the rough, no filter one who whatever. She's a sweetheart. So we we balance each other. So as you can see, opposites do attract. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They do. Don't run, don't run away from someone that may be the opposite of you, because that right there may be your soulmate. Yeah, that is true. Uh, Cause we opposites. <laughs> you know when we first met like uh -huh. i told you before oh you gonna give him that story yeah I'm gonna give you gonna give him that story give him that story give him that story when we first met okay you know you was not the type of guy i would be looking for nah i sure wasn't you just won't like I was. I, people I, I, like I you i stayed away from I was, yeah but one of the biggest things i was not even interested about was because you was from new york yeah, baby, Brooklyn, baby, all day. You know, and why? So we New do. New York, I always thought New York people was crazy. <laughs> she did. I, I really did. She did. You know, see, I, I'm out here from Virginia, you know. Southern and, girl. And she's a Southern girl. She New a country girl. Chill. Yeah, she a country girl. New York people are loud. <laughs> they don't care what they say. They don't have no filter. Ooh. Nothing. Nah, I ain't got time for that. That's because, let me tell you something. New York is the jungle, man. That's the belly of the beast. It's survival. You know what I mean? The strong survive. So, nah, you got to be strong or you're going to get ran over. <laughs> you know, that's just how it is. And that's how I grew up. I grew up from the gutter. So, it's like, listen, it's survival. You either going you either going to eat or you're going to get eaten. That's just, that's the mentality that we have. So, yeah, when we Sink met, swim. yeah, swim. that's how it is. When right. we met, yeah, she, she, she didn't think we was going to last long. I really didn't. She was like, oh, no, this guy is too rough. He, he too gutter. He too rough for me. Yeah, I, I didn't think he was going to make it this far. Yeah. But you know, I'm proud to say, you yeah. know, we, we knocking on three years. Yeah. Knocking on three years. Yeah. 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 Go, you yeah. know, because you, know, you know what she got to taste. What <laughs> she got to taste. God, God, you know. She yeah. couldn't let Whatever. it go. Whatever. Couldn't <laughs> let it go. You said, oh, no. <laughs> If that's what you say. You know, oh man, you know, you know what you got. You know, it was like, oh no, yeah, you ain't going nowhere. You said you ain't going nowhere. I said, yeah, baby, I ain't going nowhere. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, yo, it was crazy though. Like, do you, do you mind me telling them how we met? No. Okay, listen up, world. I'm gonna share a real exclusive story with y'all. This is classified nine, right? 
<laughs> classified nine on how we met. My car broke down, right? So I still need to get my black ass to work. <laughs> I still had to get to work. So I called the Uber. Now, I'm going back and forth on the phone, you know, with my boss and everything, telling them I'm late, you know, my situation and everything. So my sister had to call the Uber for me. So she, you know, she, 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 well, you know, ordered the Uber for me. Mm -hmm. So sister ordered the Uber for me. And, you know, she was like, okay, be here in like 10 minutes. I'm like, all right, cool. So I didn't, I didn't even, you know how when you, when you, when you order the Uber, you see the person's uh, face and everything and the profile, you see if it's a man, it's a female, you know, you see how they look and all that. I didn't see none of that because like I said, my sister ordered the Uber. I go outside, I'm on my phone, you know, I'm talking my shit. I'm on the phone, you know, whatever, whatever. I'm loud, talking shit. I get in the car. I didn't know this. She told me later on, she told me later on that she thought I was so rude because I got it. I got in, I got in. She, yeah. She was my Uber. <laughs> That's how we met. That was my part-time swing. She was part my Uber swing. driver. Mm -hmm. It's a part-time job. She told me later she thought I was rude because I got in the cab, you know, and I was all loud and, you know, I didn't say good morning and everything. And I'm like, that is rude. I'm like, I'm from New York. We don't but do that. That is rude. When the cab, when the cab come in New York, you get in the cab and you go to your destination. And then when you get to your destination, you pay them and you get out. You don't be talking to them, you know, you don't, you don't care about all that. That's how we do. I, you know, so she said she thought I was rude. She told me that later. I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? But when I got off my phone call, I did say, oh, hello. Good morning. How you doing? Then I. You did. See you know what I'm saying? You did. You know what I'm saying? And when she turned around, I seen that face and that smile. And I was like, you know, my NY people, you know. I was like, yeah, I got to get that. <laughs> I got to get that. So, you know, long story short, got out of the cab, you know, on the way to the job. She driving me. We had a, a crazy um, conversation. Mm -hmm. The connection was just instant. Mm -hmm. We connected. We vibed. It, it, it was like it was like a different level. It wasn't even like anything was forced because, I mean, I worked an hour, an hour and 20 minutes away. Mm -hmm. So we had a nice, nice conversation. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, so we connected from there. You know, we, we exchanged numbers and everything. And, you know. Here we are. Yep. Here we are. Yep. I knew your whole life story in that one drum. Pretty much, you know. Pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty, pretty much. much. Pretty much. We 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 was connecting. We was vibing. You know, it, it was it, it was it was smooth, man. You know, the rest of the rest is history. You know, she here to stay. You know, is <laughs> 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 what it is. You know, brother, do. You know, but the crazy thing about it is. Mm -hmm is I gave you my number, but you, I didn't take your number. No, 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 you didn't, you didn't. She didn't, yeah, exactly, she tried to be slick. She gave me her number, but she ain't take my number, right? So I'm like, hmm, okay. I'm like, all right, cool. So you know you know how we do, my, my fellas, you know how we do. I called the number before I got out the cab, before I got out the Uber. Trying to make sure it was the right number. Trying to make sure it was the right number. You're right. Man, that's the oldest chick in the book. I said, oh, I called a number. She said, oh, so you thought I was going to give you the wrong number? I said, it happens. It happens. I'm just saying, I want to continue this conversation. I want to get to know you. I just want to make sure. So I text her. I text her, you know what I'm saying? I was like, I, you know, I'll see you later and everything. But there was a twist to that, too. You you, you mind me going further tell them the twist of that? Because, yeah, yeah, it was this one her fault so i called her you know i ain't call her right away i waited like you know i i, I waited about two three days you know i ain't want to seem thirsty or mm. nothing like that because you know a brother never thirsty you know mm. I'm saying? thirsty like that mm. thirsty bucket, you know? so i waited <laughs> wait about two three days gave her a call <laughs> So now I'm like, oh, three rings. Okay, she trying, you know, she trying to play. You know, all right, I get it. Yes, hello, how you doing? Can you please leave a message? I said, oh, she ain't pick up. <laughs> oh, okay, that's what we doing. Uh, I thought it was some type of, you know, I thought the vibe was right. I thought it was a vibe. Oh, okay, okay. 
So I hung up. I waited. I ain't called back the same day, you know, because I ain't, I ain't, like I said, I ain't trying to sound thirsty. <laughs> I wait. I call back the next day. Yes, how you doing? Yes, you please leave a message. I'm not. I'm, oh, really? This two days? I said, oh, okay. Shorty done played me. She'll play me. I said, oh, she'll play me. In two days, she ain't picked me. So I said, I called her one more time the next day. One more time. She ain't pick up. I said, all right, I ain't calling her no more. I'm thinking, okay, you know, things get busy. You know, get busy, stuff like that. It's all good. She'll holler. One week go by. Two weeks go by. Three weeks go by. Now we had a month. <laughs> now I'm like, fuck it. <laughs> I'm like, fuck it. I tried. I shoot my shot. I shot my shot. You know, it didn't, didn't work. Okay. So good. Three months go by. I get a text. Hey, stranger, what's up? I said, oh, because I had her number programmed in my phone. Yeah, I still had it programmed in my phone. I didn't delete it. I'm like, oh, shit. What the hell? She, she, what, what happened? You know, I'm thinking, and I'm like, okay. So I ain't even respond back right away. I wait. I said, I seen it all that. I know she probably seen I read it and all that, but I was being petty now. <laughs> now I'm like, whatever. I waited till I got home. I, I, I waited the whole eight hour shift, break all that, ride home. I waited till I got home, got comfortable in the shower, all that before I responded. I sure did. I was being petty. I know I was being petty, but I did. It, and it worked. It worked. She responded. Told her to call me. She asked, was it too late? I said, nah, you give me a call, you know, because I'm a grown man. Grown man do grown things, you know? <laughs> she called me. And after that, the rest is history. That's that's the full story. That's how we met. That's how this his and hers dynamic, you know. That's how it started. But the thing is, is I know people wondering, like, what took her so long to call you back or whatever? Yeah, yeah. The whole thing was, like I said in the beginning, I did not save his number in my phone. Mm -hmm. You had my number. Mm -hmm. So until he had left a voicemail, mm -hmm. that's how I realized who it was that was calling me. Because mm -hmm. each time that you called, you didn't leave a voicemail except that last time. Yeah, that is correct. Okay? That is correct. That is correct. So that's how I knew it was you. Mm -hmm. That's how you know. But what took me so long in general was my mother had called me mm -hmm. and was like, you need to clear out your voicemail. Mm -hmm. She was like, girl, every time I call you, it keeps saying your message is full. You need to clean out your voicemail. So I'm listening to my messages and I hear his voice. He was like, hello, this is Calvin. Um, I've been calling you or whatever. What's up? So I'm like, Calvin? Oh, the guy from the Uber. <laughs> and that's how we reconnected. I reached out to him, not even knowing, you know, by that time, he probably done moved on and got a friend or a girlfriend or whatever the case might be. But hey, I tried my shot and it worked. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, it worked, it worked, you know. <laughs> but that that that's not how I sound on the voice, but I sound a bit more smooth. I was like, yeah, what's up? This is Cal. You know, I'm trying to reach out to you, sweetheart, you know, but it's all good, you know. Um, holler at me when you get a chance. You know, I, I was a bit more smooth. You try to make me sound anyway. like you try to make me sound like I'm like, hey, anyway. how you doing? No, I don't talk like that. Yeah. Uh -huh. No, I don't talk like yeah. that. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm a thug. I'm a thug. Thugs don't uh, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thug. <laughs> thug like baby. Uh. <laughs> Oh man, what's called? Let me ask you this. But since we on the topic of when we first got when we first got together and everything, let me ask you this. 
what was it about me that made that 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 said that made you feel like okay you know what i'm gonna get this guy a trial what was it about me because i mean we spoke like i said my ride was like an hour and 20 minutes <laughs> um but what was it about about me that made you feel like okay let, let, let me try let me try this to be honest what really made me like okay let, mm. me, let me give it a shot mm. it was the fact of you know me finding out that you had girls and they were living with you right right as right. a single parent you know, right. at one point right so in my mind i'm saying you don't really find that like talking about yeah you yeah. know what it's, I'm rare. Saying? it's rare you, it's very rare, it's rare. You, you you really hear like more so the mothers raising the kids by themselves right, right, right. you know or whatever or the daddy got the boy you know the son, right, 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 but right, not right. so much the daughters. So right. when I when I learned that about you, I'm like, it can't be but so bad. You know, you're raising <laughs> girls. You know what you. I mean? Right, right. I got you. I got you. And my grandma always told me, you know, if a man got girls, you see how they treat them. He treat them, mm -hmm. or whatever. You know, it can't be but best the best for you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So. But that's not always true, that's you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I went with it, you mm -hmm. know. I okay. went with it, okay. and, and and I've been impressed, you know. You still impress me, you know. After you know, after three, almost three years, you know, I'm still impressed, you know. Oh, whatever. Don't yeah. Even, you know? <laughs> Don't even. <laughs> so so thank you, babies. Thank you, Cabo. You know, helping daddy out. You know. <laughs> you know. Let him know, no, but yeah, it, it is true. It's true. Like you don't really, you don't really see that dynamic a lot with no. you know single fathers raising girls. You'll mm -hmm. see a single father raising his son, or you know a father you know that's in their kid's life. He may get them on the weekends or holiday, but yeah, you don't really see that dynamic. I mean, I love my babies. Like they are my world. Mm -hmm. You know, they my world. I, I do whatever for my for, for my daughters, my babies, and now you know my stepson Isaiah. I love him to death too. So you know, I I do whatever for my kids. As long as they doing good, they doing good in school like that. They can get whatever they want. I, it, it ain't it ain't even a problem, you know. So does that include me too? Of course that includes you, baby. <laughs> of course that includes you, baby. Whatever you want, you know that. Swipe, swipe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Swipe, swipe. Yeah. That's what I do. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you see. I will say, you know, I am. I'm, I'm blessed. You know, I don't say spoiled. I'm blessed. You spoiled. You know? No, you. I'm gonna say spoiled. You spoiled. I'm not spoiled. You spoiled. I'm not spoiled. You're spoiled. Okay, she's spoiled. She's spoiled. She's spoiled. <laughs> she spoil. And her daddy warned me when I met her. When I met him, he said, "Yeah, I'm telling you, my daughter spoiled." He says, "I, I said, well, sir." I ain't got a problem with that. She good to me. I'm good to her. He said, all right. He told me. Your pops told me he was spoiled. He warned me. He warned me. And I I, I think that I made it worse. <laughs> I think I made it worse. But I will say this. You're not spoiled right. There's no, a difference. No, it is. It's There's a difference. a difference. It's a difference. It is. I could deal with spoiled. Oh, he's a spoiled rat. Yeah. I, oh, know. gosh. Yeah. I can't deal with spoiled rat, and I can't deal with a spoiled rat. I could deal with spoiled. But yeah, so you, you know, you spoiled. But it's all good, though. It's You're all good. spoiled, too. I am. Mm -hmm. I am. I can admit that. Mm -hmm. I am spoiled. Mm -hmm. I am. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, 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 I'm not a man that can't admit, you know, things about himself. And I am spoiled. I am. Mm -hmm. You know, you set the bar kind of high. So, you know, like if this thing, if this ain't work and you left or, you know, it ain't work for whatever reason, the next woman got some big shoes to fill. Cause I, you know, like I expect certain things now, <laughs> now, okay, you know, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm small, I can, yeah, I am, you know. Yeah, well, you know, in a relationship, you're supposed to. You're supposed to spoil each other. That's that's the truth. You know, that's the truth. So that's the truth. That's the truth. I really, I, I, I feel that. And you know, it's funny you said. I'm glad you said that too because it's a, it's a miss. It's a um, how can I say? It is. It is believed that the woman is supposed to be spoil you, and not the man. But yeah, not the man. Like that's not focused on a lot. You know. A lot of, you know, oh, the woman's supposed to be spoiled, you're supposed to spoil your woman. 
and that is correct i'm not saying that that's you know that's that's not correct because mm -hmm. yeah you're supposed to spoil the one you love mm -hmm. man or woman but the thing is that goes both ways you pull you know the man ain't nothing wrong with spoiling your king as well ain't nothing wrong with that mm -hmm. showing 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 him you know that type of love language as well mm -hmm. i mean because there's there's many forms of love language mm -hmm. and you know spoiling them you know things like that ain't nothing wrong with that so you know Queens out there understand that ain't nothing wrong with spoiling your king. Don't let nobody tell you it is, because that's that's a lie. Ain't nothing wrong with that. No, it's not. I, I mean, I believe in you do unto me and I do unto you. Preach. The way you treat me, I'll treat you. Preach. So that's right. That's but right. everybody don't see it that way. That's the truth. So. That's the truth. And majority of them are single. Yep. <laughs> yep. The majority of them are single. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Calling their friend in a relationship asking for advice. Yeah. yeah. But you know, I'm glad you touched on that. Because, mm -hmm. you know, what kills me in relationships is mm -hmm. when you have married people getting advice from somebody who's single. Mm. Talk it. Speak on it. Like, Speak on how it. can you tell me mm -hmm. what I should and should not do mm -hmm. in a marriage mm -hmm. and you're single, never been married? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, don't know what it even means or feels like to be married. That's a fact. Like, I, I don't, I don't mm. get that. That's a fact. So moving forward, since we, you know, going and we in the new year now, mm -hmm. as I said to you, mm -hmm. you know, it's now time to build around and be around people who want the same as you. Yes, I agree. You know, you did like. Somebody who wants the best in their relationship in their life. Yes, yes. Not somebody who is single and got all the advice in the world, mm -hmm. but can't keep a man or a woman for six months. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, no, you're right. You're I, I right. got an issue with that. You're right. You're right. So that's one of our goals is yes. mingle around people who mm -hmm. wants the same. That's right. Surround you know, ourselves around the same energy. The same energy. The same, the same people, energy. The same things That's that right. we want. That's right. You did say that. You mm -hmm. did say that. And we was talking about that. And it's it's the truth. I feel the same way. Like if we don't share the same energy and we don't have the same goals, then I don't need to give you too much of my time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. If any of my time. Mm-hmm. You know, like I'm I'm I've learned to be real selfish with my time and my energy. And there's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of people that feel away or feel like, oh, well, you shouldn't be like that. You know, you got to take this in consideration or maybe this, maybe that is wrong for you to think that way. My question to that is, why? Yeah. yeah. Why is it wrong for me to be selfish with my time, mm -hmm. my energy? Mm -hmm. The root word there is mine. This is my time, my energy. I determine how I want to spend that time and where I want to put that energy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And especially when I'm not getting the same energy back, why would I give you my time and my energy and you not giving me the same back? Okay. You giving me a whole different other negative energy. Mm -hmm. I don't feel there's nothing wrong with that. So I agree. Don't feel a way about determining where and when you want to give your time and your energy to someone or if you want to give it at all, mm -hmm. especially when you're giving negative, negative energy back from those other those other people. You got to remove it. That's right. That's right. You know, that's right. I ain't got like what. Do you have any examples that you can give to the people of when you wasn't getting the same energy back and you had to remove it? Because I know we went through something like that before with people, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Do you have any examples that you that you want to that you want to share with the world? Well, one example is, <clears throat> you know, OK, you can use us as an example. Mm -hmm. We because we are a divided family far mm -hmm. as when I mean divided, like he has his children. Don't say divided, baby. But not say uh, blended. Blended. Okay. There we go. Blended. 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 Blended family. Far as you know, he has two girls. I have a son. Right. 
So we find ourselves, you know, having to be trying to have having to share our time mm-hmm. a lot with both sides of our family, as far as right. my side and your side. Right, right, right. So we have run into where holidays, you know, we want to be with all our family. Right. But that's it don't always happen. That, 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 that's almost impossible. It's, it doesn't it, yeah. always happen that way. It doesn't way. happen that way. So sometimes one, you know, like this year, mm-hmm. we spent our holiday with his family. Mm-hmm. And I think it was what Christmas Day, Christmas, Christmas Day. We spent it with your family. With my family. You know, because you know, our family together, we celebrate Kwanzaa. We celebrate Kwanzaa. But Christmas Day, we all know it's on December right. the 25th. Right. So for Christmas Day, my family still celebrate Christmas. So we went there. And, and we celebrated Christmas. We celebrate the holiday with them. With them. And then and then the next the day, next after day after Kwanzaa, starts Kwanzaa. And we celebrated that with my family. Correct. So we find ourselves having to like, you know, alter. Alter. You know, mm-hmm. which is, you know, you have to you have to do that. Relationships is about compromise. Mm-hmm. So you have to make sure that you know it, it's always compromising making sure that you're covering both sides of the fence mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying so that i, I get the example you're saying mm-hmm. choosing and knowing where and when to to to, to um to place your energy mm-hmm. so that's the example right an example like that we have to split our time and our energy through you know both sides mm-hmm. don't ever feel away people about doing that you yeah. have to mm-hmm. you have mm-hmm. to yeah you, know? you have to because you know at the end of the day mm-hmm. It's all about family. Yes, yes, you know, it is. Yes, it is. You have to learn how to balance between families. Yes, you know, so nobody feels left out or yes. whatever the case may be. Yes. But I have come to the conclusion now, as a result, I have learned that you can't be two places at once. No, you know, you just can't. You can't be two places at once. So now what we have done. We have decided to. One year we celebrate with your family. The following year we celebrate with our family, mm-hmm. and that will, you know, yeah. cut out anybody feeling any type of way. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, that- or, or the other alternative we said too. We we always coming up with all types of mm-hmm. different different mm-hmm. ways, and then narrowed it down to the best one. The other one we also said too is splitting the day in half, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. spending the morning. Day, to the evening the mm-hmm. with one side and then spending the evening to the night with the other side mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying so we're i know us we're gonna try both ways mm-hmm. that's just how we and are see what and see what works for us mm-hmm. <laughs> you know and you gotta do but all of that is an example of working together mm-hmm. teamwork mm-hmm. you know teamwork is very important <clears throat> Not only that, communication is important Very. when it comes to relationships. Yes, it is. You have to communicate. Mm-hmm. If you don't have good communication, to me, you have no foundation You're whatsoever. Done. You're done. None. And over the years of us being together, mm-hmm. I think that is what has brought us this far yeah. is good communication. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Our communication is dope. We, yeah. we, we, we barely... We probably had two arguments within mm-hmm. three years. And those arguments didn't even involve us. It didn't even. It, right. it just was it letting yeah. somebody else shift our shift energy. Our energy and, you then, know? And, and because we're the closest, you know, your significant other is always the first one to get it. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that energy got directed, you know what I'm saying, towards each other mm-hmm. when it really shouldn't have. Mm-hmm. You know, and but we got through that. We got through that. And we um we definitely made it happen. We 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 move forward from there. Yeah. Yep. But I mean, now that it's 2021, <clears throat> you live and you learn, mm-hmm. you know, and you don't keep making the same mistakes. You learn from your mistakes. Yes, this is correct. And you move on. Yeah, yeah. You can't harbor feelings. Anytime you try to hold on to feelings and bring it up two years down the line, five months down the line, it doesn't do anything but just cause further problems. Once you get through a situation, that situation should be over. Mm -hmm. That situation should not be brought up in another conversation. That situation should not be used as an example. That situation should not be thrown back in a person's face because once you do that, that right there means you truly did not get over that situation or 
you got over it, but you still dangling it over the person's head mm -hmm. as a mistake that they made. That's not cool. Mm -hmm. That's not cool. Once you go through something, you go through it, you get through it, and you move forward. Yep, that's it. You know, and that's, that, that, that's what we do. Like, we, we barely argue. And I don't like to argue, so, mm -hmm. you know. At times when we do argue, really um i just sit there that's all i'm saying i'm not so i'm not pointing me. i'm not pointing the finger at nobody so you let me argue by myself is what you're saying no what i'm saying is that i don't argue that's all i'm saying so what do you do i just sit there <laughs> <laughs> i just sit there so you have learned that it's the best thing for you to do yeah silence silence is a powerful thing mm -hmm. being silent mm -hmm. It's a powerful thing. Mm -hmm. And then when the person that's irate, you know, calm down and stuff, then you just say, are you done? <laughs> <laughs> are you done? You know, it, it, it's a powerful thing right there. It is definitely a powerful thing. Yeah, you know, well, I will say, you will not argue back with me. I don't. You would just be like, okay, you got your point, whatever. Now, if you don't agree with me, you know, you still wouldn't like, per se, argue with me, but you would be like, <clears throat> okay, let's talk about it. Right. Yeah, let's you know, talk about let, it. Let's figure out what's the reason why you're so angry or what is it, you know, that's making you upset. Right, you know, or whatever. He always try to find a resolution. Mm -hmm. I'm the one that's like rah rah rah, mm -hmm. you know. And I'm. She was scared to date me because I'm from New York. <laughs> Country girl. <laughs> Country girl. Yeah. yeah I, well, I, I, you know, I to be honest with you, because you're from New York, mm -hmm. I have to <clears throat> like show. That I can stand my ground. You got, you got a buck. You can't be, you can't be weak with a New Yorker. I'm just trying to tell you. You can't. You, you just can't. You can't. You can't be weak. You can't, cause you're drowned. Cause even though I don't argue, I have a real strong, I have a real strong tone mm -hmm. in my voice, and I have a real, a real strong voice, as I've been told. Mm -hmm. So when I raise my voice <laughs> or I get aggressive, it, it, it really comes off like you really hear and see the aggression. So, yeah, you know, but I'm, 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 I'm better now. I'm, I'm better. I'm not, you know, I don't do that. I don't do that anymore. Mm. Okay. You've learned. I've, I've learned. I've grown. Okay. okay. I've learned and grown. I don't. It's nothing wrong with growth. Yeah, it's growth. Growth nothing is a powerful growth. thing. Growth is powerful. Growth Very is powerful. A, growth is a powerful thing. Yeah, it's very powerful. You know, I I don't I don't do that no more. Mm -hmm. I just don't. I don't I don't I don't do them things no more. I don't I don't do them things no more. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a different type of person. No, mm -hmm. I, I think. What do you think? I think. Yeah. Am I? So you know you you you, you ask me <clears throat> you know Talk to me. in front of everybody what yeah. made me mm -hmm. you know say okay what made you <sighs> okay I'm sorry I just had I had to swallow the Hennessy I'm, I'm, <laughs> sip, I'm sip this, I'm sipping on some Hennessy right there this is, <laughs> this is not apple juice mm -hmm. okay so what made me mm -hmm. okay well I'm gonna be honest with you. Your smile. Okay. Your smile just, I just melted. I said, whoa. You turned around. And when I said good morning to you, after I got off the phone, right? Mm -hmm. And I said, good morning. I said, oh, I'm sorry. I was on the phone. You know, good morning. How are you? Mm -hmm. So I said, and you turned around and said, well, good morning. How are you doing? And you, and you, and, um, no, you didn't smile right then. And you said, good morning. How you doing? So then I'm the one that initiated the conversation, started talking. And it was something I said. Oh, it was about, okay. That, see, the dots connect. 
it was, uh, was when I said about, you know, me and my kids. Mm -hmm. Because you asked me, you said to me, you're not from here. Mm -hmm. And I said, no, I'm not. And you said, I could tell. You was like, your accent, the way you speak. You 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 from up north. You from New York. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, damn. And you, I, was, I said, damn, is it that obvious? And you was like, yeah, it's that obvious. So then you asked me, you said, well, how long have you been out here? You know? And then I started talking and I started telling you I've been out here, me and my kids, my daughters. And you was like, oh, okay. Now you automatically assumed that I was in a relationship because I said I was out here with my kids. Mm -hmm. I knew I knew you did. Mm -hmm. So that's why I cleared that up right away. I said, no, me, it's it's just me and my daughters. I'm mm -hmm. a I'm a single dad. And when I said that, it's just me and my daughters, I'm a single dad, you turn, you, you turn, you slightly turn. You didn't turn around fully, but you slightly turned. And I seen you. You thought I didn't. I seen you. You slightly turned and you looked at me and you smiled. Mm -hmm. When I seen that smile, I said, wow. I said, oh, okay. Okay, so the smile got you. The, the smile got me. Okay. I said, okay. I said, I gotta, I gotta see if I could talk to her further. I said, that smile right there. Yeah, that's so that's what got me. Okay, but that's in the beginning. But mm -hmm. Even now, like after that, right? What was what was the kicker? What was the kicker? Mm -hmm. Like what what made you be like this? Gonna be my woman. I'm gonna be honest with you. The first time you spent the night with me. Mm -hmm. The first time you spent the night with me is when I realized that I can see this going further. Mm -hmm. Because it's one thing when you go out with someone mm -hmm. and they return home and you return to your home. Mm -hmm. It's a different element when you wake up with that person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you wake up with that person, it's a different element. That right there lets you know if you can see this further mm -hmm. or if it's just a booty call. I'll be honest. When I... If you wake up, any guy know what I'm talking about. Any man know what I'm talking about. When you wake up with a woman, you know from that vibe, from that feeling, that connection, however you want to word it, if you can see this going further or if it just was a good night. Mm -hmm. And that's when I really knew, like, the the we already had a connection. We already had a connection. We already vibed. The connection, everything was there. But the first night you spent the night with me, nothing about that felt like just a good time. Mm -hmm. Everything about that felt like this is long term. Mm -hmm. She She's a different type of woman. And that's what I need. Even before any sexual thing happened. Even I'm not talking about the sexual touch or anything. Just everything about that mm -hmm. was a, was a different level, and that's when I truly know, like this is long term. This is gonna be my woman. This is gonna be my wife. This is is, is different. It's a different feeling, a different vibe. Everything. Like I said, my king, my 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 kings out there understand what 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 I'm speaking, mm -hmm. and that's 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 when I knew. That's what I know. <clears throat> hmm. Well, what made me know mm -hmm. was at the beginning of our life, when we first got together, when we first met, mm -hmm. um, I was at a breaking point. You, you know? was? I was done. Okay. You know, I didn't want to have anything to do with a man. Okay. Because before you... You know, I I had had bad relationships, you know what I'm saying? People treated me bad or whatever. Um, it was terrible, you okay. know? And <clears throat> I had got to the point where I just was like, I'm done. I okay. can't do this no more, you know? Okay. You met me at that point. Okay. And you was able to help me uh -huh. get through right the tough time right right you know what i'm saying okay you made me feel like you was there 
Mm-hmm. You know, you was there with me. You you encouraged me. You mm-hmm. motivated me. Mm-hmm. Um, I've never showed any point of he was going to do the same like right. everybody else did. Right, right. You right. know, so that's when I realized you had to stay. Right. Because when I was at this breaking point, it was like three months. Okay. When we first was in, three right. months in. right. Any other man that I had been with at that point, you already showing me you, you got drama, yeah. you know, you going through some craziness or yeah. whatever. Yeah. I'm out. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But you stuck it out with me. You know? You know, that's 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 what separates a king from a boy. Mm-hmm. You know, and I'm I'm not saying I'm not saying that trying to be arrogant. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that trying to be cocky. I'm saying that expressing the truth, Mm -hmm. you know, just because you've grown in age doesn't make you grown in the mind. Mm -hmm. And when you elevate to a certain point as a man, you then elevate into a king. Mm -hmm. Some men are stuck Mm -hmm. at being a boy. They may be 30 plus, but mentally they're stuck as a boy. Mm -hmm. So they move as a boy. Mm-hmm. You know, they do things as a boy. They call themselves a man, but they still a boy. You know, it's not what your mouth says, it's what your actions show. That's right. That's right. You know, so I mean, like, I I I and, and, and I'm no I'm not exempt to that. I went through that as well. I went through that 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 growth process. Mm-hmm. I have. Mm-hmm. But I elevated and I grew mm-hmm. and I went to the next level. Some people do not. You know, we all did. I've been there. So, I mean, I, that that's what I, when you met me, I was a king. I wasn't, I was no longer a boy and I haven't been a boy for a long time. You know, I took those steps to elevate. So when you met me, I was a king. I was a king in search of my queen. So my mental was different. The way I moved was different. The way I thought was different. The way I handled situations was different. Mm-hmm. Everything about me was different. My mental state was at a, at, a, at another level. Mm-hmm. So when you're a king already and your mental state is at another level, it's not difficult to embrace a queen mm-hmm. because that every queen needs a king and every king needs a queen. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't hard to embrace that. When I seen it, I, I seen that it hasn't been recognized. Mm-hmm. I seen that it's been it's been dampered. I seen that it's been played with. So it was my job to recognize that, uplift that, and polish it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you did the same for me. Even though I was a king, I myself has been played with, dampered. I needed to be polished as well. Mm-hmm. We polished each other and uplift each other, and that's what made us great. You know, so you know that's just what it is. I, I mean, I, I love it. I, I love everything about us. Oh, I see. We have a special guest here. Whoa! Let me find out. We talked her up. Oh, we got a special guest here, y'all tonight. It's our eldest child. <laughs> oh, I'm about to add her to the broadcast right now. Ak. What is up? Show your face. No. Show your face. We back. Hey, K. I Show your face. Oh my God. Why are you doing this? Oh man, how's you doing? Joining the show. And then she ain't gonna want to show her face, world. Hey, K. Oh, she's gonna give us a little. She's gonna give us a little. What's wrong? Listen, world. How you doing? This is our oldest child, K. I need. Yeah, she is also the CEO and the owner of Drip Clothing. Y'all probably seen me promoting at it and shouting at it. Yeah, I got the CEO of Drip Clothing, you know, on the show. She yeah. acting a little shy right now. I don't do this. You don't do this. <laughs> oh, no. We ain't having an uplifting talk about, you know, the foundation and the family. I seen you, I seen you in, the, in the back room. How you going to come in the back room and not join the show, Miss K? Show your face. I don't know. Uh, she's shy. That's, That's okay. okay. We're going to get on the next show of, of his and hers. We're going to have our children on the show of his and hers. This is going to definitely be uh, a dynamic for the family, a dynamic for couples. We're going to talk about a lot of different things. Okay, we're going to see you later since you're acting shy. 
and you don't want to um you know show your face on on on, on his and hers but we're gonna get back to you so we're gonna get back to the show thank you oh there's a peace sign you gotta leave peace sign you gotta leave peace sign okay there, there you go this you go you see the world this you go all right I mean, jumping in, jumping in on the show, you know, beautiful thing right there. Family, see, we said family first, That's family right. over everything. That's right. So before we close out to the world, baby, is there any last advice you want to give to the listeners, to the fans, to the viewers, you know, about having a strong, united front? Because that's that that's that's the main topic that we, we touched on tonight. Yeah, well, the main thing is, like I said before, communication. Communication yes. is the key. If you don't have good communication, you don't have no foundation. Mm. You can't set up for a foundation without co good communication. Boss. You just can't. Not only that, another example, well, not example, advice mm -hmm. I'm going to give mm -hmm. is stop allowing people who don't want the same thing that you do mm -hmm. dictate so much of your life. Mm, you hit it right on the nose. You just, you just gotta stop. You gotta stop getting advice from people who don't want the best for you or trying to see you do good. Mm -hmm. All they have to, for you is negativity. Example, such as if you and your significant other is going through something, First thing they want to say, oh, you need to leave them. You need to leave them. <laughs> you know, you need to leave them. You can find better. You can do this. You can do that. Mm -hmm. If you want to leave, leave. But don't leave because somebody else wants you to leave. That's a fact. You got to live for you, not for somebody else. You cannot allow people who don't want to see you do good dictate your life. You just can't. Another thing I wanted to give mm -hmm. is... Going now that we're in 2021, if you want to be better, you gotta do better. You have to do better. You, you can't say, "Oh, I want to, I want to do better," but then you still have your old habits. You still have your whole old ways. That's you know, you have to let go of those things and move on. Right. Start doing better. And better starts within you. Hmm. It doesn't start with anybody can come in and say, you know, oh, I want to help you. I want to help you to get to where you need to be or want to be, whatever. Can't nobody help you if you ain't trying to help yourself. Hmm. You have to ha it's help starts within yourself first. That's right. that's right. So that's the advice I want to give for 2021. Mm -hmm. The goals that we have set for us is we want to one start being around people who are positive and want the best for us we want to one day own our own business which we did start that mm -hmm. we did we started that in covid slowed it down covid slowed it down but we started our own business in 2019 2000 was it 19? Maybe 2020. Beginning, the beginning of 2020. Of 2020. We started yeah. our business in 2020. We had started a his and hers cleaning service um, for residential homes. That was doing real good. Um, was doing excellent. But real then good. when COVID hit, that slowed down. But that's okay. It's all right. That's all right. We believe and have faith that God is going to make a way for us to start that again. Mm -hmm. And this time it's going to explode. Yes. It is. We are definitely going to get back to where we were and ma making our own um, mark. own mark. You know, um, God is going to bless us to where hopefully one day we won't have to work as hard doing it ourselves. Mm -hmm. We can have people working for us because I don't know about you, honey, but I am tired of punching a clock for somebody else. <laughs> I am ready to go to work oh yeah when i want to not yeah. because i got to i want people to be able to work for me mm -hmm. and i don't have to work for somebody else That's right 
You know, I just that's wanna, my I, goal. I just want to drive and pick up the money. I don't want to do nothing else. Come back home. <laughs> drive pick up the money. Come back home. You know, that, that's that's just what the goal we have set for us. Another goal we have set, May 2022, God be willing, you know, we will actually, because now he, he always says I'm his wife because God says, you know, speak and it shall happen. Mm-hmm. Speak into existence. So, quote unquote, we are really not married, but yeah. in 2022, we are engaged. 2022, we will be married. Yes. Yes. Okay. And we are asking for blessings on top of blessings top for of that. Blessings. You know, I know God got us. Yes, he does. He ain't failed us yet. That yeah, sure hasn't. You know? Sure hasn't. So that's the goals we have set mm-hmm. for ourselves mm-hmm. to be nothing but great. That's it. Nothing but great. Nothing We're but waiting greatness. for greatness. Showers greatness. of blessings. Right. Continuance of blessings. Mm. There you go. Yes, yes. There you go. Amen to that. And we want greatness for our <clears throat> kids. You know, we want them to be great. Mm-hmm. They already great yes. in our eyes. In they will always That's be right. great. That's right. That's but right. we want them to continue to be great. That's right. And be successful. Mm-hmm. You know, we're teaching them young mm-hmm. that in order to get what you want, you got to work for you it. got to work for it. It doesn't just come free. <clears throat> it doesn't just come easy. Nope. You know, so we have teaching our kids that. Mm-hmm. And so far, they all got their mind straight. Yes. You know, yes. they all got a, something they looking forward to, that's right. That's and right. we gonna keep pushing them. We gonna keep, keep pushing. pushing them. We gonna keep pushing. Them. Yeah, so keep pushing them. Do you have anything you would like to add to the people? Oh no, babe. I mean, you 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 hit it in a nutshell. I don't have anything else to say. I don't. I don't have nothing else to say. You covered all elements, and that is wonderful. I just want to say thank you for tuning in mm-hmm. to this episode of the Man Cave. The Man Cave and TDR Network presents His and Hers. That is this segment, and you will be blessed to see this segment once a month. Mm-hmm. You know, on TDR, The Man Cave, where my lovely wife will be joining me, and we will be doing the His and Hers segment once a month. Who knows? It may flourish into its own show. Mm-hmm. Who knows? Mm-hmm. But right now, we're introducing it to the world through the Man Cave and TDR Network. I want to say thank you for tuning in. Yes, yes. And I just want to add, ladies, I got your back. (laughs) I got your back. Yes, yes. I got your back. She sure does. It is the Man Cave, okay? (laughs) But I have added myself in between, you know? I've added myself. Ladies, I got your back. <laughs> she sure does. She sure does. And fellas, y'all already know. Y'all already know. You know, Kyle got your back. You know, send all day, day how we do. Uh, she yeah, yeah, back. yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for tuning in. I mean, without you, there'd be no us. So once again, you know, the Man Cave listeners and Man Cave uh, fans and followers and the TDR Network listeners and followers, you know what I'm saying? We love y'all. No, thanks for thank you for tuning in. And once again, as always, I like to shout out all the other shows on TDR Network because they're all great shows. So mm-hmm. when you get a chance, you know, anywhere you listen to your podcast network, you can check out any one of the TDR um, Network great shows. Check us out uh, for 2021. It's definitely you know we're definitely going crazy. Uh, there's been a lot of growth with the network, and we're gonna continue to grow. So that's right. Thank you for tuning in, Man Cave. His and hers. We out of here. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yeah. Yeah.